Hey everyone, Sam here from Repco. Welcome to this week's episode of the Repco Bolt-On Build Hilux Giveaway. On this week's episode, we're going to be giving the Hilux a filter and fluid service, as well as some added upgrade parts to the engine bay to make sure that the engine's protected. All the fluids and additives that we're going to be dropping into the Hilux come from the team at Penrite. And all the filters that we've chosen for the vehicle today come from Ryko. First up, we'll be doing an oil and oil filter change. We're then going to drop and refill the coolant, and then we're going to move on to the diff fluids, as well as adding a diff breather at the same time. Once we've finished up in the diff, we're going to replace all of the filters in the vehicle, including the fuel filter, air filter, and the cabin filter. Once we're done there, we're going to bolt up a Ryko catch can kit, as well as a water fuel separator, which is essential to any four-wheel drive. If you don't have the tools or the experience to work on your vehicle, make sure that you head to your local mechanic. Chris and I are going to get cracking on dropping the oil. So Chris just finished draining the oil on the Hilux. The location of the sump plug is actually up just behind one of the chassis rails or the cross members. Ryko have got this great product which is designed as a flexi funnel so that we could actually position it up under the body armour, catch the oil and drop it into the drip tray. Hey Sam, can you check the Penrite website and send me letters the Hilux holds please? Seven and a half. Seven and a half, awesome. So we've got a few options here guys, we can buy a 10 litre, a 7 and a 1, or like we have opted for, it's two fives for that ease of pouring. Ultimately you want to check your dipstick, because that's going to tell you if you're under or over, and you always want to be on the mark. We put 7.5 litres in, we still need to start the car to fill up the filter, so I'll get Sam to start it, we'll run it for about 10 seconds, turn it off, and we'll check the oil level again. If it needs topping up, we'll top it up. As you can see, the filter's full now, so we need to add a little bit more oil. Next job on the list is a coolant flush. Now this can sometimes be a tricky job. We're lucky today. The Hilux has actually got a drain valve on the bottom of the radiator. We're gonna connect up a bit of clear hose and start to drop the coolant. So Sam's finished draining the coolant system. I'm gonna to top it up with a Penrite coolant. I'll get Sam to jump in the car, turn the heater on. I'll fill it up. I'll get him to start the car. I'll bring the car up to operational temperature so the thermostat opens. That way the coolant can flow through the whole system. Put the cap back on and drain the bleed valve. All right guys, this is one of the easiest jobs of the whole build. We're gonna change the rear diff oil. All you need is a breaker bar, 24 mil socket, and a Repco top up pump, and some Penrite oil. I like to start with the filler plug first, so we'll undo that, then we'll undo the drain plug. The reason for that is you get cavitational pressure in the diff, and the diff oil doesn't flow out, it actually splatters out. All right, so once the oil's all drained, we'll put the drain plug back in. We'll then get the, the pump and put the pump into the diff oil. We'll then fill the diff until it starts to flow out, and then we'll put the bolt back in and lock it off. The diff oil's all done. We're gonna move on to the DriveTech 4x4 diff breather kit. Now the reason we're doing a diff breather is because the factory breather is not really a breather, it's an atmospheric valve and they can get stuck and get water and stuff inside them. So what we're going to do is mount this breather kit up nice and high in the engine bay, keep it away from water and dust. While we're fitting up filters today, we're also going to have to chuck in a Ryko cabin filter. Now the filter that we've chosen is the Micro Shield series, which does a little bit of a better job than your standard factory cabin filter. Fitting this is a pretty easy job. We drop down the glove box, a couple of clips on the inside edge, and then we'll remove this panel cover. The old filter is full of all sorts of muck. We're gonna to toss that out, chuck in the new one. We've got antibacterial protection, allergy protection, as well as an odor barrier, and they recommend that you replace these filters every 15,000 Ks. Next on my list to do is to replace the fuel filter element. What we've decided to do is to remove the whole housing. While it's out, I'll replace the element. That gives me access to the factory bracket, so then I can mount the Ryko water separator bracket and then do everything in reverse. It's really good practice to check your element when you're doing your fuel filter. As you can see in the filter, there's a little bit of debris in there, so timing is perfect. We've just grabbed the Ryko water separator out of the box. Just remember these are put together loosely for packaging, so you need to make sure you do them up nice and tight. Another good thing to do is to make sure you use the Loctite that comes in the kit for your blanking plates and your fittings. Make sure you allow this to cure, otherwise you'll have a diesel leak as well.
All right, guys, we're moving on to the Ryko catch can now. It comes with some really great instructions which are simple to follow. We need some basic hand tools. We need a 12 mil, 10 mil, some pliers. The Hilux Ryko bracket bolts into the inner guard with the captive nuts. So we'll lock that down. We'll then attach the catch can to the vehicle bracket, remove the engine cover, find the plumbing, plumb it all up, and we're right to go. Everything's looking pretty good. Last thing to go in, Ryko air filter, four clips on the top of the air box. Lift it up, slide the new one in. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. The Ultimate Hilux is running like a well-oiled machine, thanks to the teams at Penrite and Ryko. Be sure to stay up to date with the entire build series by following us on Facebook and Instagram at Repco Australia. Tune in next week where we're going to be giving the Hilux a top to bottom detail, including a ceramic coating from our friends at AutoGlim. Remember, at the end of this build series, we're going to be giving this Hilux away to one lucky Repco Online customer. There's also $11,000 worth of runner up prizes to be won. All you have to do is purchase anything online at repco.com.au to automatically go in the draw.